You're lying. I knew it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing with The Last of Us, episode five. In the last episode, Joel and Ellie were, I actually don't remember what city they're in, but they were trying to pass through because there was that blockage on the freeway, so they couldn't continue on to where, the, I think they're going to Wyoming, is where, you know, he thinks his brother is. Um, but there was something blocking the road, so they needed to go through the city to get around to, like, the next exit or something so that they could get on, or the next freeway entrance, whatever. And they got caught in a trap, Joel knew it was a trap from the get-go. You know, he was like, put your seatbelt on to Ellie. And then they drove around it, but it was a good trap. They got him. There was a little shootout going on. They got away. Now everyone in that area is, like, hunting them down because they think that it has to do with these people named, this guy named Henry and his little boy Sam or whatever. So they're being hunted because people don't know that they're, like, not affiliated with them. They made it to a building, like a really high building, I guess, that they're going to use to, I don't know if it's, that they're going to look to see if they can see anything far from the top of the building, but either way, they're in the building, they made it up like 30-something floors, and they were going to sleep for the night, and Joel set up like some glass pieces so that they would hear if anyone made it through, but I think, you know, he also doesn't have good hearing, and I forget which ear it is. But I also think he was just tired. I mean, he barely got any sleep the night before when they were in the woods sleeping because he just was standing guard just to make sure that him and Ellie were safe and didn't get much sleep. He's been driving like all day long. So I think he was just exhausted and he was just passed out because then it ends with Ellie's like, Joel, wake up. And then she like yells at him. And I'm assuming Henry is the one that was holding Ellie at gunpoint, and then Sam is the little boy that's dressed up like a superhero or whatever. He had Joel held at gunpoint, which still confused about that, because why are you letting your son have a gun? Joel barely just let Ellie finally have a gun, and she seems older than this little boy who's dressed like a superhero. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know Henry's story because clearly those people are very angry with him. I don't know his story and maybe we're going to dive into that and I hope that they don't harm Joel and Ellie, but we'll see. So now they're all actively really being hunted because the, those people are really hunting Henry and now that Joel and Ellie are with Henry, um, I, I can't imagine that that would be good. So yeah, I guess we'll get into it wow i'm excited i don't know what's gonna happen i hope good things but like i said most of these should most of these episodes i'm bummed out by the end of it but the last episode was exciting i wasn't bummed out let's keep that streak going This must have been when they took over QZ. Yeah. <laughs> this definitely is. Damn. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're going in. Oh my gosh, this is complete anarchy. How scary to be in this situation with a little boy, just a little child. I mean, I know Ellie's young, but this boy is like really young. I want our people going door to door until we find him. No. Oh, I'm sorry. How long do you think we should wait? Should we wait a day or two? Should we wait a week? Oh, fuck it. Let's give him a month. I'm not saying it'd be nothing. He already got a predator around. Just say you can wait him out. Then we're doing take a lot of men and the other things that come He's in. not my seventh priority, Terry. Is that what he is to you? 
Well, first, who put this woman in charge? Because she's... We're really putting him on trial. No. No. We are not really putting him on trial. When you're done, burn the body. It's faster. She really said go murder all these people. What the hell? Who put this woman in charge? That's sad. He's not coming back. No, he's not, guys. He's dead. So he must have gone out to go get food for them, for, like, the group, and that's when he was caught. And, oh, man, he really did not give them up until the end. Oh, that poor doctor. I mean, I know they did not do good things, but in this scenario, I feel like those people... I mean, I know it's very simple for me to say two wrongs don't make a right, but... I don't know. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. But again, I don't know what they've done. I don't know the specifics. Obviously, they're really mad at Henry, so he could have done something really, really bad. But I just feel for Sam. Oh, shit. Tough question. Oh. I'm very curious what he did that made everyone so angry. I don't know about everyone, but especially that lady. She is like fuming over him. This is stressful. I know they obviously make it to the building where Joel and Ellie are. That must have been Joel and Ellie. Pulling in and then all the shooting started. So they're distracted. Now would be the time to go. There we are. He's probably wondering who the hell Joel is. Why is he shooting at these people? Oh, you already saw him. <gasps> okay, here's a moment. I don't know about having him hold a gun. I mean, I get it. They don't know what's going on, but... And you want... Him to have protection. Oh. Eyes on me. Eyes on me. You don't have to worry about what you say. We don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the next step is. Yeah, I was, was, was going to say, I don't think you know. my gun. We didn't hurt you. So you don't hurt us. Right. Joel, don't. It's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Yes. Don't tell him he's okay. Don't do something stupid, Joel. Everything's great. Dude. Fuck. Okay. Listen. I'm gonna trust you. Did either of you guys try anything? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? You don't need to threaten the little girl. I'm telling you. I'm 
by the sound of it. Oh, his brother. He's one man in Kansas City. Although right now, I guess he's running a close second. Okay, so it's his little brother. We'll be right back to you. Get your nut, Edna. No. Worse. I'm a collaborator. What's that mean? I don't work with rats. Yeah, you fucking do. Today you do. Because I live here and you don't. That's how I followed you here. I know the city and that's how I'm going to help you get out. Okay, so collaborators are... What you did, where you killed those men. Now I know where to go. I don't know how to make it through alive. That's not officious as it sounds. Mm -hmm. Just in case we left your arm in the wrong for some wrong. I don't care who you know. Three points in now, another gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. So they need each other. Yes. I'll show the way. You'll clear the way. Okay, so he said, I don't work with rats. Oh, are they having fun together? <laughs> I love that. Been a long time. So how are we getting out? Okay, so I'm guessing collaborators are rats. So maybe that's why she's so mad, because maybe Henry was the one that turned in her brother, or whatever, because she was talking about her brother was torture. Dreams all put up by the same developer. And they share this tunnel. So but are there going to be infected down, down there? So we enter the tunnels here, travel underground, and pop up here. West side north, residential. There's an embankment on the other side of the houses. We head down, pedestrian bridge over the river. We have emerged. All right. I'm tired of this bing, bang, bada, boom four. stuff. It doesn't work out like that. Room four. Infected. You anything strange about this city? I mean, other than the strange shit you've already seen. No infected? Oh, very infected. Just not on the surface. Bradley drove them underground 15 years ago and never let them come back up. The only good thing is fascist motherfuckers over here. So you want us going into a tunnel? Everyone thinks that it's full of infected, including Kathleen, which means that we're not going to be running into any of her people. At least the way I know it is. It's empty. You've been down there. How do you know that? No, but the bedroom guy that I worked with told me that it's clean. Completely clean. They cleared it out. All of it. When? Like, three years ago. <laughs> okay, maybe there's one or two, but you handle it. What if there's more? I wonder what it's like when it could sleep like a bat. Wait, you ran into a clicker. Two of them. And you're still alive. A clicker? You see? They got names. You're the right people. If it gets bad down there, you turn around, run right back out with some new people. Oh, that's your great plan? <laughs> no, that's my dicey as fuck plan. Oh, see? no. As far as I could tell. A couple people have told me that I could use zombie if I wanted to, but like the real term would be infected, so I'm gonna now call them infected. Ready? So thank you to those people for helping me. Put your gun out. I can't now I kinda like Henry and Sam. I, I can't have them die either. Nice in theory if what Henry said is true that Fedra did come down there and clear everything out. So, that's great. I feel like Fedra should be doing that in all other cities. Like, why have we not in 20 years gotten a handle of this? <laughs> I still feel like we shouldn't be loud, though. Oh gosh. You probably not killed this man. It was a man. A great man. Never afraid. Never selfish. He was always forgiving. That must be Kathleen's brother. Have you ever met someone like that? Young man, follow me around. Yeah, I wanted to. Leukemia. Oh. <sighs> anyway, uh, there was one drug that worked, and well, they shot. 
there wasn't much left of it. It was a lot of treasure. I thought, why, son? Take something big. I'll give you something big. Oh, no. Come with me. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. I'd like him first. That's how she got the position. So, still think I should take it easy on you? This is a tough situation. I don't think he's bad. I am a bad guy because I did a bad guy thing. He's trying to save his brother. He had leukemia. What the perfect box. See, the show is trying to humanize her too. And now I feel bad for her because she's really hurting because she lost her brother. So I don't know who's right and who's wrong at this point because I feel for both of them. Just a second, I deliver. Something's gonna happen right now. Go down the street and bank me behind the last house. Somewhere else. Well, it's not the world that I know yet. It's the world in the dark. I know that. But I live in there. I own it. He said, "You better." Don't make this a two or three. He said, "You better shut up." Don't be telling people our plan. Just want to sit sex and stuff off the world. No, I'm not saying he's not a sexist. This is how he goes. He's like, no, it like never, ever, ever happened. And then I'm like, I'm gonna ask you a million more times, and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I knew it. <laughs> it's coming from the top of that house. Well, don't be stupid. Follow Joel. Damn, they got a good gun too. With those, you're not gonna shoot him from up there with that little gun. Stay down. Don't be popping your head up. I know someone told me that it's not really scary. There's not like a lot of jump and that the explosion was like the worst. This one by far freaked me out the most. And I anticipated that something was going to happen and it still freaked me out. But all right, here we go. <clears throat> you killed him. Well, now they got a bitter gun, so. He told him don't do it. He and he even said please. Oh shit. Y'all gotta go. Girl, girl. Oh shit, she's out. There we go. There we go, there we go. Get her, get up, get up, get up. Get her. Get her. Doesn't matter. 
Let the kids go. No. Why? The girl was with a man who killed Brian and Mary. You don't understand. But I do. I know why you did what you did. But did you ever stop to think that maybe she was supposed to die? You just look like a kid. But kids die, Henry. They die all the time. He needs, Joel needs to take that bitch out. That she's worth everything? Well, this is what happens when you fuck with fate. Maybe your brother deserved to die. What kind of fucking... Are you thinking and going, yes, you do. Joel, take her out. They're gonna kill him. Oh my god, I just... I can't. I can't deal with that right now. I don't want to see him do it. That's the way it ends. Joel, kill her. It's that whole thingy. That's infected. Kill Kathleen. You're lying. Oh my gosh. Okay, well she will be okay if she gets bit, but they'll still rip her apart possibly like Tess had told her. Where the hell are Henry and Sam? Who the fuck is this? You have got to be kidding me. That is a big boy right there. Well... No. No, she deserves to die too because she, you wanted to tell the others about this. And she was like, no, let's not tell the others about it. Oh, his head is off his body. Okay, she's an acrobat. Don't be a hero, Ellie. I know, I know, but come on now. This is so much chaos, and they did not plan for this. They're trying to work together, and there's no plan, and they're somehow making it happen. There we go. There we go. Okay, come on, Ellie. Get him. Get him. But were they bit? Because they're not like Ellie, where it's no harm, no foul. If they're bit, they're goners. Kill Kathleen. Joel, kill her. Okay, okay. Is that the crazy acrobat that was going after Ellie? Maybe kill the acrobat girl because she's a psycho. Okay, well I can't say I'm upset that that lady died because I didn't like what she had to say about Sam. Well, that's more to you. Yeah. Yeah, let's stick together. Yeah, but didn't 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, being alone in a world like that is scary. No, I wouldn't say. <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, she's going to tell him that to like make him feel better in the meantime, but I don't think he. Okay, if we can get her blood to him, but is it that simple? Mm. I don't think that's how it works. I mean, I appreciate you trying to help. I hope it works. This there's no way this kid survived leukemia and then is about to go out by a bite from the infected. Please let it work. I know science-wise this probably doesn't make sense for that trap to work, but please let it work. Put the gun down. You did it. Don't blame them. Oh. He turned so fast. Okay, but he's a great actor, that little boy. Oh my God. My heart is like racing so fast. She's turning cold now. She's seen a lot. She's like, let's go, Joel. I'm really annoyed. The last episode ended great. And I was hoping like maybe we could just get, we didn't, we didn't have to end great, but we didn't also have to end on such a terrible note. I'm shook up. I don't. Sam survived leukemia, running away and hiding from those rebel people. Um, I just don't understand why he had to be bit. And 
Henry's reaction with all that. I can understand his immediate initial reaction of, like, leave him alone, like, don't touch him, it's your brother, but, like, seeing him that way, not good. I mean, that's not a good scenario. He would have needed to be killed because he could harm others, but Henry's reaction was so weird. He wasn't letting Joel help Ellie. And then he just shot in the direction of Sam and Ellie. And then was, like, shocked about it, but then also still wouldn't let Joel approach Ellie to, like, grab her and make sure that she's okay. He's, like, you know, still holding him at gunpoint. And then and then he kills... Okay, I can see after him killing his brother, or even if he wasn't the one to kill his brother, obviously if anyone had to kill his brother, like if Joel ended up having to kill him... I can see Henry maybe, you know, shooting himself because he just doesn't want to live without Sam, but I'm just confused as to the events that happened right prior to that, holding them at gunpoint. They saved him, and then for him to, like, hold, like they helped them get this far. So I just... That was a lot. This episode was a lot. It was a lot in the sense of, it was high intensity the whole time. I didn't know what was going on. Lots of adrenaline running. There were quite a few jump scares. The shooting from that guy in the top of the house that Joel eventually killed, that jump scare got me. And then the one right here with Sam, that jump scare got me when Ellie touched him and he turned around and went like psycho on her. I don't know. I feel like this show really breaks my spirit. It's just so depressing is this gonna end on a terrible note like is that what or is it gonna end on a hopefully good, I don't I don't even know I can't think straight because it's like I was not expecting any of this to happen I have no idea what to expect I will point out though I'm now confused it's like the infected which like I said someone in the comments had mentioned um someone in the comments had mentioned that the term is infected although someone was very gracious and said that I can still call them zombies it's no big deal but um so I appreciate that and I appreciate everyone giving me um you know the terminology for this uh, I will say the infected just because that's what they are but I feel like as the series is going on the infected are I don't necessarily know if they're evolving within this time frame I think clearly they have evolved but they're showing us through the show like the progression that the infection I guess could take so I don't understand them being like underground I don't understand what the li like how like how does that work is that normal that they're just like underground and it was kind of like quicksand in a sense where like things were like getting sucked in and then it became like a sinkhole I don't know if quicksand would be the thing it, it was like a sinkhole it was like a sinkhole and then they all just started pouring out and then they were like all of different types of infected like some were like on the low end of infection like they're still kind of new it seemed like and then the some had like the the butt face you know the buffoon butt face things going on and then there was like that big guy I don't even know what I would call him. He almost looked like I know this might be offensive to Groot, but I feel like he looked like a really cracked out ugly looking Groot. Like a fat version of Groot. And um but I I don't know if I I don't remember if I had my glasses on in that scene, so like maybe I'm seeing something that's not really there. But that's, like, the initial thought. I was like, what the hell is this? And he gives me, like, group vibes. But I don't know. I I don't even know. I can't even keep my thoughts straight because I'm just so just shocked. Um, I'm glad they took out Kathleen because she was just a hater. Although, so sad because Henry and Sam also died after escaping her. But I'm glad that Kathleen was taken out because um 
she had some nasty things to say about Sam, and I did not like that. And, yeah, I just did not like that. And I don't know what happened when they escaped that area if, because it looks like those people were not winning over the infected. You know, the infected were clearly pulling up on top. So now there's just going to be more infected people. And I don't know what that means that they all came out of the ground. They're just like roaming Kansas City now. I mean, I guess it's not their problem anymore. They're, you know, on the move. They're on their way out. But I'm, I'm just confused how that all happened. And they're so lucky that when they walked through the tunnels that it really was cleared out, like Henry had said, which he said they cleared out like three years ago. So a lot can happen in three years. So they lucked out with that, but in the end they really didn't luck out because that guy had radioed Kathleen, they were on the way, caught him off guard. If that hadn't happened, I don't think all the infected would have been coming out, that whole situation, and Henry and Sam would have been okay. So screw that old man, I'm glad that Joel killed him. He even said, please don't do it, and he still did it. And why would you put the man like that up on top? To shoot from down below when he has terrible aim. I mean, Joel was right. His aim is crap and he died for it, you know? Like, he could have just let Joel leave. Well, I guess maybe he wouldn't have wanted Joel. He wouldn't have put it down because he knew that Joel would have then heard the radio and then probably would have killed him anyway. Because it's like, oh, you told on us. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss any content. I will be changing my name on YouTube soon so please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any videos that I post once my name has changed. I'm not positive yet on what the name is. I have a couple that I'm working through so I will probably be doing that within the next week. So please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything when I do change my name when I do start you know post the next few things on my channel. I just don't want you to miss out on anything so please subscribe. And let me know what you thought about episode five of The Last of Us and if you were just as upset and distraught as me. And yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I will link the other uh, episodes for The Last of Us. And also if you're into House of the Dragon, I will be, um, by the time this one comes out, I will be posting episode six of House of the Dragon very soon. So that is also linked up right now to the playlist for House of the Dragon. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.